Story 1. It happened when I was playing kickball on my school's sports field. I was unconscious after I fell over. My soul was hovering in the sky and watching classmates get together around my body before I woke up. I still vividly remember one of my classmates who pinched my philtrum, the area above the mouth, and what they discussed about my incident. I would have died if I had mass brain hemorrhage or if my brain swelled enough to cause all the brain cells to die. As for my experience, it seemed like I was getting closer and closer to the ground while playing kickball. Then I was moving at lightning speed. I did my best to comprehend what was happening as I traveled through a tunnel. I watched the smiling faces of my classmates rotating one slide after another like many pieces of shuttered mirrors. I still clearly remember three of their faces today. I had trouble breathing and my body was in so much pain. Still, the whole experience continued until I reached the end of the dark tunnel. The light became brighter as all the pictures disappeared. I felt myself moving toward the light at a high speed. Once I entered the light, I found myself floating into a very peaceful state in the black universe. I was formless, like water evaporating and then dispersing slowly. I was very relaxed, peaceful and comfortable. I could not get enough of this serene feeling. As I write this, I still can experience that state of relaxation. Abruptly, I again experienced what seemed like a dimensional shift in the movie. My soul was floating up above the school sports field. My spirit was up in the air watching my body lying on the grass with all the classmates around me. One of them tried to resuscitate me with a pinch on my philtrum. I lost all the memories from the fall after I woke up. I could not recognize the people around me and didn't know where the restroom was at the school. Gradually, I recovered my memories after an hour. I could barely walk home with my vague memories two hours later. The above description is still crystal clear to me as I could remember it as now. This story was shared by Change F and happened in 2002. Story 2. When I was 12 years old, my neck and head were injured in a freak gymnastics accident. My thought process or consciousness remained uninterrupted. I went straight from thinking briefly, oh, this is not going right, oh no, and feeling the pain of impact with the ground to experiencing an empty, pure black void. I couldn't see, hear, or feel anything. There was no dimension or sense of time. I had no body which baffled me. Then I realized that I was pure thought. How could that be? As I continued to ponder my reality, I started wondering if I had died, and if this was what being dead felt like. I was simultaneously amazed that it was possible to still exist as mere thought without a body. I was curious about what this place was and how I got there. I was also terrified that I had just left behind everything I knew and cared about. Implicit in that realization was that I couldn't return. I noticed that thinking in the void was effortless, so I started trying to feel around using my thoughts. Perhaps I could still be able to send commands to my body if I thought hard enough. I attempted to yell. This didn't seem to work. Yet at the same time, my thoughts bumped into external presences that I could sense because I felt thoughts were not my own. These presences communicated with me wordlessly as pure conceptual thought and emotion. They were surprised to see me and disapproved of my being there in the void. And just like that, I had a body again. My neck was slightly sore as I was lying on my back. The physical education teacher was very angry with me. The teacher was holding my head steady and calling my name. The rest of the class was standing in a wide circle around us. I could feel everyone's emotions as if they were mine. Their feelings were emotions ranging from detachment from the situation, to concern, to various intensities of panic, to a sense of unsure emergency. I remember feeling that my teacher felt guilt, relief, sadness, and reflective anger that all evaporated as I started moving my legs to sit up. I don't remember the rest of what happened very well. I think he gave us all a stern yet relieved lecture against acting reckless and trying gymnastics without his help. I remember crying uncontrollably while not understanding why. Though I do not recall the exact date and only approximately the year, the immediate circumstances of the accident have stayed in my memory ever since. It felt like a veil had been momentarily lifted from my eyes, as if I had truly woken up for a moment before returning to an earthly daydream I thought of as reality. This story was shared by Samuel E. and happened in 1993.